cute are these little guys? Let's learn how to make them. Trace a circle onto felt. Mine is about four inches. Add a point in the middle and divide your circle into two pieces so one side is larger than the other. Then cut out that larger piece. Now cut out that same shape from brown felt. Cut the curved edge of your brown felt to be wavy like melted chocolate. Whip stitch the wavy edge of your brown felt on top of your red felt. Once you've stitched the entire wavy edge, tie off on the back and cut off extra. The straight edges of your red and brown felt should line up. Carefully cut out the red felt that's underneath the brown felt. Leave about a quarter of an inch next to your stitching. Add small stitches in pale yellow or white to look like strawberry seeds. I'm using six strand embroidery floss that I've split in half, so I'm just using three strands. Tie off on the back and trim away extra. Whip stitch the two straight edges together, forming a cone shape. Once you get all the way to the end, Tie off the floss and trim off extra. Leaving about a two inch tail at the beginning, use a loose running stitch all the way around the top of your cone shape. Use a piece of paper to create a funnel and fill your strawberry with catnip. At the very top, cover the catnip with a piece of felt or plastic bag so none falls out. I like to use a plastic bag because it adds a little bit of a crinkle noise. Pull both ends of your running stitch tight and tie with a triple surgeon's knot. This means you're gonna wrap the floss around once, twice, and a third time before pulling it tight. Then tie a few more overhand knots to keep it nice and secure. Cut a strawberry top out of green felt. The middle part of the leaves needs to be big enough to cover the hole at the top of your strawberry. Attach the leaves to the top of your strawberry using small back stitches. As you stitch, make sure that you're going through the green leaves and the red felt at the top of your strawberry. Stitch all the way around your leaves twice and then tie off under the leaves and snip away extra. As an extra detail, you can use puff paint to add faux chocolate drizzle. Store your catnip toys in a Ziploc bag so they keep that catnip scent. Here's Muggle enjoying his playtime. Remember that swallowing small strings can be dangerous for cats, so always monitor playtime and pick up toys when not in use.